I'm here at HP's global headquarters in Palo Alto with Stefan. Stefan, tell us what's happening with HP. What's happening with the Office of the Future? Well, uh, well, first of all, Andy, thanks for the opportunity. And uh, um, when we think about the Office of the Future, let's think about the customer environment first. Um, we've all heard about digital transformation and how, in the new world, every business is becoming digital and every business is being disrupted. That's the starting point. So it used to be the IT industry that went through those cycles every few years. It's the banking industry, the hospitality industry, financial services, it's healthcare. Virtually every industry has the opportunity to improve their value proposition or the business model by adopting digital assets. Every business does this, independent of where they are today. And as a result of that, the knowledge worker that uses that digital information to improve business processes or the customer offer becomes an extremely valuable asset for the company. So that's the environment we're working on today. And it's not just happening in IT. So you and I have been in the computer industry a long time. It's virtually happening everywhere. And for companies that haven't realized it, they better do because they're going to be obsolete otherwise. Because all of that is happening on an infrastructure that is pervasively free. Cloud and mobile phones, computers, are a fundamental access point. If you connect those devices, you create, create values that take industry giants down. The smart kid in New Delhi with access to the world fundamentally can challenge us, can challenge um, established companies. companies the big company. You got the Uber example, you got the Airbnb example, uh, the Square example, I could go the on. The industry and, analyst example. The industry analyst example. Well, look at our work today, right? So the knowledge worker and this access to information wherever we are is becoming a standard. And as an innovative company, you better allow this. Work is happening wherever you are, and this collaborative phase where knowledge workers come together to create value is going to be the biggest asset for any business. Is HP prepared for this? Yeah, and absolutely is prepared. To. It's the center of our strategy. The underlying assumption is that every customer is going this way. So the first thing you have to do, if you think about how you support this, as companies distribute the digital information beyond the boundaries of their office, because the work is happening outside the office, is to secure it. That's why we have such an emphasis on security. A printer, a device, is part of a workflow, and if it's not secure, it shouldn't be a printer. It shouldn't be in business. A foundational element to innovating your business, whether you like it or not, you've got to secure the key access points to your workflow, and printers is a key access point to the workflow. So that's the first thing. It's not only a protection, it's an innovation enabler, because if you can't do that, you keep your information in the boundaries of your organization instead of having it free flowing to your knowledge workers, to your subcontractors, to your temp workers. All of those things need to happen in a modern company as a student. So, this is one important point. The other important point that going to printing specifically, if you get to realize, is that printing plays a critical part in most workflows. It's not about whether it's paper based workflows or digital workflows. Every workflow is going to be digital. It's my underlying assumption, our underlying assumption. So what role does printing play in this workflow? And is it actually available to you when you need it? Considering that most of the time, so think about where you are most of the day. How often are you in the office? When's the last time you said, I get to it once I'm back to the office? Now the expectation is, you get to it right now. Here at HP, it's not your office. At Starbucks, in the airport, at the hotel. How often have you had the need to print something out and you couldn't find a printer? If you found one, you didn't have access to it. If you even had access to it, you had to install a driver in order to make it work. I mean, it's painful, right? So what we need to do, we need to bring printing into the path of work wherever you are as a knowledge worker. So you need to have access to prints, not really access to the printer. So this direct connection from you to a printer is really an old paradigm. So as we rethink the category, we're thinking about how do we make access to print pervasive, frictionless, so you can do it from wherever you are. Right? It's very critical. As an industry, from a printing perspective, would we have to fundamentally change if you acknowledge the office of the future, acknowledging that work is happening wherever you are as a knowledge worker. And if you don't enable that, I fundamentally limit the innovation power of the company. That makes sense? It does. I agree. Yeah. Thank you very much, Stefan. Hey.
Thank you. It's been a pleasure for the opportunity. Thank you.